So by now you've probably seen my Tesla turbine produce electrical power from room temp compressed air. But some of you might still be asking, what does that mean for actually producing electricity long term? First and foremost, in terms of using high pressure, low temp gases, compressed air energy storage and liquid air energy storage are very viable solutions and are being employed in industrial scales as we speak. When we look at how engines function, they typically compress air, heat it, and then expand it. Most gas turbines and turbojet engines possess a compressor operating on what's known as the Brayton cycle. For those unfamiliar, the Brayton cycle comprises three main processes. Compression of air, addition of heat, typically combustion, but anything could be done, then expansion of the air. If we're talking about steam, only heat needs to be added. Systems like ocean thermal energy conversion can vaporize steam or even function in an organic ranking cycle at significantly reduced temperatures. Tesla's improved turbine patent GB186083 is particularly noteworthy here. It cleverly uses heat from the turbine exhaust to generate steam. This steam then cools the combustion jet before it enters the turbine. This significantly reduces the compressor need for a typical gas turbine. While regular turbines typically require an air fuel mixture of a range of 100 to 1 to 201, thanks to this innovative approach by Tesla, his patent slashes the load that the compressor puts on the shaft, making it efficient even with stoichiometric mixtures around 15 to 1. Additionally, Tesla's patent GB186084 combines combustion and steam turbine functionality, eliminating the need for a compressor altogether. This patent uses a special nozzle that has the steam go through a Venturi-type nozzle and pull a vacuum on the exhaust of the combustion jet. This allows air and fuel to be forced into the combustion chamber just from atmospheric pressures. Our current tests with the Tesla turbine aim to establish baselines. We've already achieved impressive results with the 10-inch diameter tester at 6.22 foot-pounds of torque at 4150 rpm and 4.25 kilowatts between 6000 and 12000 rpm while maintaining relatively low pressures at the nozzle only about 20 psi at the nozzle for the 2650 watt electrical load run and 40 psi at the nozzle for the 4250 watt dyno it's crucial to understand that counterintuitively the viscosity of gases actually increases with temperature this means as we hike up the temperatures to combustion levels not only do we anticipate a boost in thermodynamic efficiency but also a leap in the isentropic efficiency of the tester thanks to the reduced slip caused by the increased viscosity. Our end game at Tester Energy is all about energy independence. We're passionate about tapping into underutilized energy sources such as biomass, solar thermal, geothermal, and even unconventional fuels with high particulate content. The ultimate goal? To harness these energy stores with systems that can manage multi-phase fluid flows, ensuring longevity and efficiency. To find out how to get more hands-on experience with the Tesla turbine of your own, go to heatandpower.com and see what all the fuss is about.